Oh, God. What's going on here? Wait. I can use that bow. Hunt with my bare hands. I need to find a weapon. If this thing still works. Just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. So hungry. I need to find something to eat. to camp. All right, Lana. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. 
If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Happen again. Private Koske. He was on gate duty last night. No one heard anything. And this morning, they found his helmet. Nothing else. No tracks of his leaving. No blood. No shell casings. Nothing. The others are talking about Chinese partisans. Maybe even American GIs. Damn fools. They have no idea what's happening here. It is the Oni who stalk us. The restless, evil spirits. They live in the old places of this island. We are trespassers here, and they are watching us, waiting. All these wrecks, the ruins, this entire island is a graveyard. It's only a matter of time. The Oni will come for us. Conrad Roth, Captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth! Lara! You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. <sighs> Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Music. Someone there. This could be a way through. Damn it.
am I doing? represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Did you get that? Got it. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam, um, thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look. He bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right. Him ago. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to myths. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched. 
from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <gasps> but what happened to you? When I woke up, they were both gone. You can't shoot me, go one time off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no, le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Raw. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. You gonna be okay? Yes, I probably just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. So bad. I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought that any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace, forgotten in time.
could have warned me about the wolves, Doctor. Another shrine. Who are they worshipping? Fascinating. I've seen these before. Oh. They must be ritualistic. This, this female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like us. Survivors. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes, well, let's hope we don't become murderers, too. See if you can work the other one. Handles missing. Together. Oh shit! It won't take the force. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. Let's see if I can fix this axe. Right, Laura? Shall we give it a go then? Let's do this, Doctor. Whenever you're ready. That female figure on the gate. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himiko. Are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. In 
incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. No, <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine. Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. I can't be trusted. <gasps> you still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No! I'm handling this! No! No! Oh! no! Please! Get off! Just, just go along with them, Laura. Do, do whatever they say. Dai me a pistolet. Who are you people? What do you Silence. do with us? Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them! Don't hurt them, please! Silent girl. Ah, Divyat. Harosinka, yeah? Napominayash Mayu Siestru. Let go! Let go! Laura, run! No! No! Run them up! Run them up! Don't you fucking move! Kill them all! There she is! Grazia Priatki Malishka. Do my should that stuff fast. No one escapes. Out. Villager. Not trust my old Ravia. I always. <laughs> Out! Villager! Not trust my old Ravia! I always find them. I'm not sure she'll be a parade to this chair. Oh. 
Another tanker? <gasps> What's going on down there? Everything okay? smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh god, Roth, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try. about nightmares is sooner or later you wake up but there's no waking up from this place which means I'm really here 
I'm really doing these things. 